All right, so for this question, it asks you to sketch the base region and then find the integral. So before we start, I just want to make a notice of dx dy will be a horizontal um, rectangle and dx dy will be a horizontal, dy dx. I'm sorry, this is dy dx and this is dx dy. So now um, you can draw, you can write um, what you, before you do anything, you would um, have to identify your lower and upper bounds for both x and y. So for your lower and upper, I recommend you to do this before you flip any differentials. So your x and your y, your y and your x. Okay, and then um, your lower for your y will be e to the x because um, dy is first and then dx is second. So e to the x and then upper is 9. And your lower for, for x is 0 and then natural log of 9. So now you can draw your picture for your base region. So now you know that. Um, e to the x, I'm gonna draw e to the x, e to the x, it's gonna be like this, and then y equal to 9 is a horizontal line up here, sorry for the sloppiness, and right here will be natural log of 9, and right here is 0. So this is your base region right here with a horizontal uh, I mean vertical uh, rectangle so 9 and your line right here is y equal e to the x all right now they ask you to solve the integral um, but I will show you an easier way to solve this by flipping the differentials. So notice how you have to do d, dy first. And to solve this integral respect to y first, you would have to use integration by parts. That would be very difficult. But if you flip the differentials and if you do it dy first, this whole thing right here will just be a constant. And then you will just have an x on the top. And you can solve for, and then you can solve for um, dy, respect to y after. And um, you can plug that into the calculator, it'll be so much easier. So if you flip the integral, the differentials, so now you would have, um, oops, now you would have a horizontal, uh, horizontal rectangle instead of vertical. And your equations right here will be in term of y instead of x. So now um, I'll, I'll solve for I'll solve for x. So x will be natural log of y. All right. So let's do lower bound and upper bound and. This is your x and this is your y. So your lower bound for x, I will draw a new picture. You know that um, this equation right here will be x equal to natural log of y. And you have a, horiz a horizontal rectangle right here. So you know that they intersect from here to here. So it would be 0 to whatever the function right here is. So your lower will be 0. Your upper will be natural log of y. And for your lower of y, you don't know what this value is going to be. And you do know that the upper is 9. Okay, so... But you, know, you do know that... Um, I'm going to call this point uh, alpha 
So you do know that this point right here is zero alpha. So now you do know that your x value is zero. So I'm gonna plug this into this equation right here. So zero equal um, natural log of y. So uh, I'm gonna differentiate, uh, exponentiate both sides to solve for y. So right here, cancel, and e to the zero equal y, and your y will be equal to one. So you know you know now that this point right here is one. So your lower for y is one. All right, now, you know everything? Now you have all the components right here. Now you can just flip it. Um, you can just plug into your double integrals um, respect to dx dy so x i'm sorry dy gonna be first so dy gonna be um one two nine and then zero to natural log of y with one over natural log of y now it's pretty straightforward to solve oops i'm sorry um now it's gonna be very straightforward to solve this um, respect to x, so you have uh, integral from 1 to 9 uh, x over natural log of y 0 to natural log of x, uh, natural log of y dy um, the inside right here gonna be equal to 1 so your integral will be 1 to 9, 1 dy. And your integral is y from 1 to 9. And your answer will be 9 minus 1 and then 8. So your answer is 8.